Ladies and gentlemen, all of the above, none of the above, welcome back to the shop. Today we are going to make some steel batarangs. As you can see, they stick to wood and look pretty cool. The first step will be to determine how much raw material you are going to need. To do that, you can print the templates out and then lay your bar stock onto the outline of the batarangs. As you can see, I've got different sizes of templates, so you can make different batarangs. So, let me just quickly say that this is mild steel, so that cannot be hardened. And these two little parts are high carbon steel. This is, I think, a one tool steel, so we can harden this later on. To cut the 3mm sheet metal I use an angle grinder because it's just a pain to use the hex saw on this stuff. And because steel dust is some nasty stuff, please wear a breathing mask while using an angle grinder. Now cut out the templates. I will show you all the steps on how to make these batterings on the big one because it's easier to see the details on camera. The smaller batterings are made exactly the same way. Then stick the templates to the metal and use a marker to trace the outlines of the battering like shown. I use double sided tape to do that. Then use an angle grinder or maybe metal files to get the rough shape of the batarang. As you can see, I'm using round and flat files at this point. A fine triangular file is just great to reach into tight spaces.
I'm using the edge of the file to dig deep into the metal. This is how the battering should look like after filing. Now mark the area where the bevels should be. You can use files or in belt sander to get the battering sharp. Ok, now it's time to harden the batterings. I'm using a propane torch to heat the tool steel to a dull red, which is quite hard to see on camera, and then crunch it into water. Better would be oil, but I've got only water. The hardness of these things is now extremely high, which means that they are very brittle as well. As you may think, this is quite unideal for something which will be thrown, so we will reduce the hardness a bit using the propane torch. I will heat the batterings until the oxide layer is blue. This shows that the steel is about right regarding the hardness. You can use spray paint to paint these black. If you want to, you may resand the bevels so that the cutting edges have a metallic silver color. I didn't do that here though. As you can see, these batterings stick to pretty much any soft material like wood. Also, the edge of these things does not get dull. Thanks for watching this video. If you like these kind of projects, please go ahead and give this video a like and maybe subscribe to my channel to not miss any new upcoming videos. Thanks and bye bye.